Good morning students. Welcome back to the online class of Artificial Intelligence. We have already completed chapter 1. Today we are going to start chapter number 2 that is applications and future trends of AI. After going through these chapters, we will understand how we are using AI in our daily lives, the concept of smart cities and smart homes, whether AIs affect the job availability or Computers can be over smart like human beings as well as the need of ethics in the development of AI and finally the limit of AI and understand why do we still need humans for certain tasks. So start uh, with the first thing that is artificial intelligence defined as intelligence exhibited by machines has many applications in today's society. It is being utilized for a wide range of activities including medical, remote sensing, finance, healthcare, education, transportation, etc. Everyday uses of AI are first one is Siri. I hope uh, we have already learned few things in the previous classes. So uh, Siri is basically a virtual assistant or personal assistant offered by Apple. In, in chapter 1, we have already discussed few things like uh, Google Assistant by Google, Siri by Apple, Cortana by Microsoft, Bixby by Samsung. So these are the types of virtual or personal assistant developed by different different companies. So first we have Siri, like it is a popular personal assistant offered by Apple. The friendly female as well as male both voice uh, activated assistant interact with a user on a daily routine. This assistant assists us to find information, get directions, send messages, make voice, make calls, saving contact, adding any event to calendar, open any applications or making a call. So such type of work can done by the Siri as a assistant. Then next one is Netflix. I hope maximum is aware about this term. A lot of media platform or applications are nowadays we are using like Amazon Prime Video, Netflix, Disney Plus Hotstar, Z5. So basically uh, these are the platforms where uh, we are watching content as per our choice. This is Netflix. It is a widely popular content on demand service that uses predictive technology to offer recommendations on the basis of consumers reaction interest choice and behavior that means it will save your habits what type of movies or web series you are searching and you are viewing according to your choice and interest it will provide you suggestions the technology examines from a number of records to recommend movies based on your previous liking and reactions for example last uh, maybe last month you have seen a uh, comedy movies or action movies according to your viewing history it will give you a suggestion the one more example of the same thing is amazon shopping app okay if you remember if you search something on amazon app and leave it without buying then amazon or other application or maybe a web browser will give advertisement as per your need what you have searched on the Amazon maybe the same thing or the relevant same thing will be appear as an ad on your mobile phone sometime YouTube is also are showing you ads that is relevant to your search history so this type of AI we are using in our day to day life then music and media, whether you use something like Spotify, I hope you remember, Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Music, Ghana. So all these type of applications nowadays using AI, basically with the help of AI, they are helping us to find the relevant content. Okay, for example, if you are listening some uh, song by Atif Aslam, then the same applications, maybe Spotify or something else, will make a playlist accordingly and when you ask for a music it will 
play the music that is relevant to your listening habits smartphones the use of ai is used with a photo editor on smartphone when you want to take a picture ai helps by selecting the appropriate setting and suggesting different modes of view if you remember when if you have a latest smartphone with ai enabled camera so if you click any photograph then the name of the particular photograph may be appear like dog cat grass so according to object it will give you suggestion as well as the color of the picture or the photo will also be edited by the camera that is by default and this is a feature of ai then smart home devices ai is used in smart home devices to adjust the temperature and lighting based on your preference okay so uh, this is also type of ai in which uh, the devices you have installed at your home in your smart homes will be according to your use or the lighting for example if it's day time the light will be uh, a little bit high if this is dark then light will be normally a little bit low according to your mobile phone like we have a brightness sensor if you uh, visit it inside uh, the room that uh, brightness will be low but when you walk it out uh, maybe in sunshine then according to sunshine your brightness level will be up this type of home devices is also available online services from travel to banking shopping education entertainment all these type of industries are using ai chatbots through algorithms that enable it to track spending suggest purchase prevent fraud and complete other transaction much faster if you remember if you are shopping online and you have any idea about uh, flipkart or amazon then mostly if you want to contact uh, with customer service then they don't have any number basically they have chat box virtual assistant if you are calling them then virtual assistant will help you if you text them on the chat then chat bot will help you. but there is no human is there if the chat bot or the virtual assistant is not able to uh, solve give you a solution for a problem only then customer can request a call back from the customer service center but till then you are basically communicating with a computer a chat bot or a virtual assistant visual search for buying products here yes, a lot of platform are there like amazon and flipkart you can click a picture you can scan the photograph of the product and you can search on it fuzzy logic fuzzy logic is a method of reasoning that resembles human reasoning the approach of fl imitates the way of decision making in humans that involves all intermediate possibilities between digital values yes and no this is basically a uh, a decision making system okay which is basically reasoning with human beings like we are human beings we have the capability of reasoning the same way fuzzy logic will uh, a basically enable machines to create some reasons in the form of yes or no so this is a complete chapter in our uh, syllabus we'll discuss uh, in later on about this application of fuzzy logic are washing machine fuzzy logic in the case of washing machine employs sensor to judge varying condition inside the machine and adjust uh, adjust its operations accordingly so essentially there are sensor in the washing machines that will control the entire washing process with the help of sensors algorithms and processes we are controlling machines so that machine can works as per the directions or the readings sent by the sensor if you remember or if you have a, a washing machine then you have idea how a fully automatic machine will work you just put your clothes there just choose a program and sensor wise the uh, inlet of water will start and when the sensor said that as per the instructions given by the user the lay water level is completed then the motor will start and it is start rotating so the total work is depend on the algorithm as well as the sensors works with the washing machine air condition the ac is adjust the temperature of the ac by comparing the room temperature 
in the target temperature using fuzzy logic domestic goods like microwave ovens refrigerator toaster vacuum cleaner washing machines environment control air conditioners dryer heaters humidifiers all are using fuzzy logic application of ai i hope you remember eco amazon eco was launched by amazon which is a revolutionary uh, product that can help you to search the web for information you can ask something if you want to search something on internet just ask it and it will give you the answer alexa i hope you remember this is also a virtual assistant developed by amazon it is usefulness and its unseen ability to inspire speech from anywhere in the room has made it a, revol a revolutionary product that can help us use the web for information shopping schedule appointments set alarms and a million other things it seems like bixby google assistant and shiri we have some alexa apple phone also if you remember a uh, few years ago a uh, redmi note maybe 7 or 8 or 9 was alexa apple phone there still a lot of uh, phones are coming that is alexa apple phone basically they are using alexa as a virtual assistant in mobile phones amazon you know very well this is a largest online shopping portal amazon transactionals ai is something that's been existence for a quite some time allowing it to make astronomical amounts of money online with its algorithm refined more and more with each passing year the company has gotten actually smart at predicting just what we are interested in purchasing based on your online behavior if you remember we are using amazon from last many years what we are going to buy amazon knows as well as we have subscription also the daily routine things the grocery which we require on monthly basis we have a option to subscribe them we just click on it subscribe it and amazon will take a keep a record and the upcoming delivery will be done on the time so amazon is also mentioning recording a transaction record as well as a product report what we have purchased what is the sale of this product what is required in the month of may by uh, the uh, public living in india or a specific area so all this type of record is saved by amazon and according to online behavior it will use it google map using location data maybe from your mobile phone maybe from your laptop okay the speed of movement traffic traffic means if there will be traffic the speed will be slow so it will make it and record it that they have a lot of traffic on this this route so you can take a new route so all this type of things will be managed by google map google map is also used ai ride sharing apps like uber i hope you remember we have many applications like ola and uber like ola and uber so basically what they will they will do they have applications ai enable application as well as they have gps so when you request something there's a nearby taxi maybe sharing by car which is basically you request will text by your message and within a minutes or within few minutes the particular vehicles will be there on your location yes virtual chef now you can have a virtual chef by your side next time you cook guiding you through each step of the recipe to prepare that culinary delight you never thought possible chef watson's ai will help you to create a recipe based on the ingredients you already have on something you are craving so basically no need to watch any you know video on youtube in which they are uh, telling you how to cook the food you have virtual chef and as per your kitchen availability it will be tell is it will uh, tells you what type of things you can meet and as well as will guide you how you can do this a spam filter this is very important topic maybe you got some questions from an exam also a spam filter is a program that is used to detect unsolicited and unwanted email and prevent those messages from getting to a user's inbox a spam filter looks for a certain criteria 
on which it bases judgments a spam filter must continuously learn from a variety of signals such as the words in the message message metadata where it sent from who sent it suspicious words patterns or word frequency it can further personalize its result based on your own definition of what constitutes spam gmail successfully filters 99.9% of spam through the use of machine learning algorithm basically if you remember not in this year but last 5 or 10 years ago we have a lot of problem persons are uh, in a we are victim of fraud because they are uh, going to get any uh, email like you win a lottery coca cola lottery or this lottery and you have prize of this one this one million dollars you need to pay this and all these things so such type of mail will be sent to a a uh, number of pupils and maybe one two three will be a victim of this type of scam okay so what this gmail done gmail create a spam filter it will looks each and every mail and find out some words that is like lottery or, or something else and block that particular mail and send to the spam folder it is also possible when you are sending a bulk mails okay bulk means you are sending the same mail to more than 1000 to 2000 people then by default this mail will be inside your spam folder not in inbox it will send to spam folder that is basically google found that is maybe a spam on the basis of algorithm and not will be you will not able to see it in your inbox and it will send to your spam folder then smart reply gmail introduce a smart reply to inbox in 15 2015 a next generation email interface a smart reply uses machine learning to automatically suggest three different brief response to answer the email like whatsapp if you are using a business uh, whatsapp then this is a option also for smart reply okay so this is a today's things to uh, maybe tomorrow we'll discuss uh, exercise of chapter 1 also as well as we will take queries until uh, smart reply till then you can revise this video as well as read this chapter if any query we'll discuss tomorrow on the gmeet